Okay. So in this part, um, we're just going to move on a step further with a slight amendment to the first file. Now, um, when we click on the button, what we'll get is a new screenshot each time. Um, and that's as we put them in, they'll stack based on um, the page size. There we go. And that's as simple as working from where we were before. If rather than defining um, the canvas outside of the snapshot function, we take it inside of the snapshot fun function, then we will get a better outcome, um, or a new outcome at least, depending on perspective. Um, so we are creating a new canvas. Each new canvas gets um, the context. We append the child, and then we give it um, a specific um, image as before. We could give new canvas um, a height and width like we did before. But that won't actually affect the image size so much because that's defined elsewhere but it will define the positioning of the image <clears throat> so if we make sure that our canvas is the same size as the image defined at the very least and there we go um, a little bit more squashed down now. Um, so you might want to play with the settings of the image um, and also you can play with the left and top positions a little bit if you want to get them to space out a little bit like so. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, just moving the lines that we've created outside of the function, inside of the function, um, make sure that you leave this one outside of the function definition. Um, and that's it for that one.